Okay guys, so for all the English speaking folks, I told you I'm gonna do more English videos and we have a guest host here. Uh, it's my friend Janis. Hi. And um, we are on the way now to do a little bit something to his car or basically look what we can do to his car because as you've seen in my videos uh, and with my Bart, uh, I'm very happy with the car, however the car was a little bit too quiet. So I decided to get exhaust, so I got to record modern exhaust, which you have heard already and you have seen already. So after Janis actually saw it and heard it for the first time in the garage, uh, in underground parking where I have my car, and uh, he was he was dazzled, man. He said like shit, I need an exhaust. So basically, we are now on the way to find an exhaust for this Mini Cooper S. It's a 2006, just 66,000 kilometers on the clock. Um, I think it is the 163 horsepower version. It's not the 170. I'm not quite sure, but uh, you know, you guys know. And um, so we are on the way to get basic gate exhaust. And the same problem that I had with mine, or that anyone has here in Switzerland, um, are the restrictions and the rules of what you can put under your car and what not. So we have a little bit of a challenge to find basically something for his car that uh, is legal to drive without a hassle of going and getting the car tested and paying ridiculous amount of money to uh, get it approved. So we are now on the way to two, three dealers to see what they have for this car. Do they have actually anything for this car? Uh, can we get it installed legally? And how long will it take? And most important, how much will it cost? So, uh, no worries, he speaks English, he's just very shy. No, yes. I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, you can check the other videos. Um, actually, I've done three videos with Jan so far. We've driven, we were driven. No. We, we drove to Grindelwald, which is uh, an village. Village basically here in the Berner Ola, Oberland. Uh, and we did it in snow, so it was really, really cool. And uh, together we're gonna drive in a few more videos over the next couple of months. And you'll see the progress in my car and uh, on his car as well. Number one being the exhaust. Don't worry, I already infected him with the virus of tuning cars. Uh, well, not tuning cars, but basically modifying and making them nicer than they already are. So, um, number one is the exhaust for him. Then we're gonna look for some rims, maybe. See, he's smiling, he's smiling. Uh, he, he knows already that he will have to pay for it. Uh, he knows he will not have any choice to basically go around it. There will be uh, modifications done to this car. Exhaust number one, rims number two, and uh, with with rims, obviously you have to do something with suspension if it's going to be uh, a full um, suspension or just uh, springs to make it lower. We'll see. So we are on the way there, and we're going to give a little update, and you're going to see much more of the Mini Cooper, and obviously from the Ward as well. So stay tuned, and see you in the next time. Okay, a little update, guys. We just went to Mini Cooper here in Switzerland. Uh, we had a very, very motivated <coughs> customer sales advisor, or whatever you want to call this, who uh, barely managed to get out of his chair. And he drives a bus. Most probably he drives a bus. And um, so we gave him the car registration papers. He checked his computer, it took him like 10 minutes to find something. And then uh, he managed to give us uh, I don't know how you call it in English, but Kostenvoranschlag means basically uh, just an estimate. Here we go, an estimate of how much uh, John Cooper works exhaust for this 2006 Mini Cooper would be. Um, this guy wasn't sure if we can get it fitted. He wasn't sure if it needs any paper uh, approval or registration or if we can just fit it and drive it. He didn't know if it's gonna be louder. He didn't know pretty much nothing. And uh, the price he quoted was 1,510 francs 75. That's approximately the same in Euro. Dollars, I don't know, even more than that. And, uh, well, I guess no option. So no option. Can I, can I do like this? Yeah. Okay, we can do like that. Yeah, so we are on the way to dealer number two. And um, now let's face it, I don't know. Um, if you want to modify your car, I guess don't go to the manufacturer himself. If they're not used to fix it. See the difference, for example, now the Mini Cooper, maybe it's just Mini here because it's very small, I don't know. But the Mini Cooper S is actually a sporty car and there are people who do a lot to these cars. So they should have some knowledge about it. But the difference, for example, when I went to a Bart, there's so many things you can buy for an Abart, yeah, and you have like a full catalog that they give you. You can buy whatever you want, yeah. Different exhaust, different rims, all these things, and it's ready to go, yeah. Yes, this is not a new Mini Cooper. Uh, 
I guess if you go with the new one, maybe they will have more mm. parts. I mean, the car is going to be now 10 years old, right? So, um, but still, it's a difference. If you, if you, for example, now the Abarth compared my Abarth to the Mini now, it was much easier for me to find something. And I got an original Abarth exhaust as well, or just a valve exhaust. But again, different approach, right? Um, so, we are trying to find another dealer now, or we're going to another dealer to see if they have something for us. Yeah. Please. Please. I recorded a reaction on the German video if you want to see his face after he got this paper. Uh, it was just like 10 seconds fresh impression. Uh, just check out the German one. Yeah. So see you in a moment. Okay, so we just recorded, yes. Uh, we just came from the second dealer. Um, it's like a small dealer that has rims and different uh, stuff, exhaust as well. So he quoted us now for a bus stock exhaust for the Mini, R, uh, Mini Cooper S. R53, which is this one. It's a mid-2006 uh, version. End of 2006 they started uh, having more choices, basically, or we would have more choice, but for the R53 not as much here in Switzerland. So it was a bus stock exhaust, which would cost around 1,300, plus uh, installation would be around 1,500 Swiss francs. And um, that would be a double exhaust with a bit bigger diameter. And we just checked the video on Google, uh, sorry, on Google, on YouTube. And Google, yeah, obviously, on YouTube. Uh, it sounds better. Obviously, we never know if the exhausts that are fitted and the videos are done on YouTube, if this is a newly fitted exhaust or if it's already one that is broken in, uh, has already, uh, you know, burned out some material that is louder or not. However, it did sound louder. So now we're on the way to dealer number three to see if they have maybe uh, Nekropovich exhaust because I've seen already in the brochures and the catalogs that there is one for this Mini. Just have to see what's the price, uh, can we get it legally fitted, uh, how much is the installation. So we'll be there in a few minutes, we're gonna tell you right after. Seems like we were lucky, we found an exhaust for Yanis and his Mini Cooper. So this was dealer number three and we actually went to the same dealer where I got my winter tires from and they made me a very good price for the winter tires. And um, well he actually was kind of close to already closing the deal on the second dealer, which was 1,500 francs. But I told him, you know what, just let's go there and see because they have a few parts as well and they can maybe organize something too. So we were actually looking at the Kropovich. However, uh, it would have been much more expensive uh, above what was Yannis' price limit of 1,500 Swiss francs. And now you're saying, okay, why he didn't get it in the second dealer? It was already 1,500. It was a good deal. Well, we got it here for... 1,250, so we saved 250 Swiss francs, which is roughly the same in Europe. I always have to translate this in different currency or exchanges in different currencies, so you guys can hear it. I don't know, dollars, guys, just look it up. Dirham, I don't know, Dirham times four and a half or something like that. And uh, so he's very happy. He got his exhaust. I mean, it's not fitted yet. We ordered it. We got a really good deal on it. And um, it's going to take around two or three weeks uh, until it's going to arrive. Uh, we're obviously going to do a video about it, uh, how it's, how we're going to go and pick it up, get it fitted, and before that we will meet one more time to make a video of this exhaust, the stock exhaust, and then have basically a comparison to the new one, uh, which is the bus stock exhaust. So it's exactly the same exhaust in, in dealership number two, but for less money. And with much nicer people, yeah, because they're really, really friendly. Uh, if you live in Switzerland and you look for something, you live around Bern or this area, uh, go to Pnu Egger in Bütendorf. Yeah, we can show it. Here we go. And um, they're gonna give you a really good price. And most important, actually, you know, it's not about the price always, it's about the feeling you have with the people. And these guys are really, really kind, really happy folks. And typical Swiss guys. Typical Swiss guys, okay. Well, I guess not every Swiss is nice, oh. you know. Um, <laughs> But they're really nice, so you're gonna stay tuned or stay tuned. You're gonna see the videos of the Mini Cooper and more to come. Uh, I gave him actually a catalog and I marked him for the suspension. And uh, now, first he has to get the exhaust. Slowly, slowly, we're gonna get him to do a little bit more to his car. And you're gonna see the progress of the Mini Cooper and you're gonna see the progress of the Abart, obviously. And if we find more guys, we're gonna do more videos with more friends. Um, so stay tuned. A lot of footage, a lot of content to come. See you next time. Subscribe, like, and share. Peace. Bye.